Cape MEC for Health, Maruping Likwen, is currently at the Khalishiwi Day Hospital where babies were also born. For more on this, let's cross to our colleague Reginald Vidboy. Very good morning to you once again, Reginald. You're in hospital now. <laughs> oh, yes, from a grey side to a hospital. So, a, a Merry Christmas to to all our viewers once again and also to our colleagues. Um, yes, we know that Christmas Day, um, it's a day that we celebrate because unto us a son was born. But uh, when babies are being born um, in, in the country and also around the world on this specific day, whether it's sons, daughters, we also need to celebrate them. And as you correctly mentioned uh, right there in the intro, Desiree, the first one was born in Barclay West. But um, I'm going to rope in the MEC of, of Yalti in the Northern Cape, uh, Mr. Maru Ping Lekwene. Good morning to you, uh, MEC. And firstly, Merry Christmas to you and the family as well. I hope you have a blessed one. No, no, good morning, uh, uh, SABC and of yours. And Merry Christmas too as well. Uh, of course, we're having a very... A cool uh, Christmas with uh, some rain, uh, some showers. So we're hoping that the day uh, will all uh, enjoy the day in the province and, of course, in the country. Thank you, MEC. Um, we know that babies are being born uh, as we speak in the province with the first one in Barclay West. Just give us the details. What time, what gender? Uh, no, thank you very much. Uh, in, the, in the province currently, the report now we're having that uh, we have now to date 11 babies born. The first baby which was born was from uh, Prof. K. Matthews in Butler West. Uh, the boy was born at quarter past 12. So uh, the first baby which in the province which uh, uh, was born, it's a, it's a boy. So all of them are, are, are 11. Now here at Khalishwe uh, Hospital, usually it's our, it's our biggest catchment. Uh, but uh, to not, of course, our disappointment, we only having one so far which has been born, a boy as well. So, but uh, we've been told by the doctors here and the sisters that uh, we might get extra babies uh, during the course of the day, which I think will be some good news for us. But so far, we, we're very happy for the, new, for the newborn babies. Um, Christmas is a very special day. We all know that as Christians that uh, Jesus Christ was born on this day. So all the babies born on this day, on Christmas, they are, very, they are special uh, babies, they are just special. Uh, offsprings which you must really look after and give lots of love, you know. Yeah. And do you also hope uh, uh, at other uh, hospitals in the province to uh, more babies being born? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, of course, uh, uh, babies bring a bundle of joy mm -hmm. all over. You know, when babies are born, uh, they just bring happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, and this year has been a very difficult year, you know, under mm -hmm. COVID, we lost so many lives. Mm -hmm. In the, in the country, in our province, uh, surpassed 2,000 now, people have demised. Yes. So if uh, young babies are born, for me, it's a plus. It a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it brings some hope, uh, inspires some confidence, and I think uh, it's good for, for all of us. I, I think we must welcome all the new babies born on Christmas Day. And then, just in short, your Christmas message? Uh, my, my Christmas message, uh, of course, uh, as the MEC for Health, we must look after ourselves. We must enjoy responsibly, avoid huge crowds, wear our mask 24-7, sanitize, and ensure that we also uh, uh, safe uh, and protect our loved ones. So let's avoid big crowds. And also, those who enjoy by you know, going to, to picnics, uh, some big parties, they must just look after themselves. But uh, generally, we wish, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And we hope that uh, uh, yesterday, we have now officially opened for the second chap of the GNJ. Uh, we have opened some centers throughout in the province. We did not get so many people tending, coming, coming out, but we're hoping that uh, uh, it was Christmas Eve, uh, they will uh, keep on uh, taking their jabs, JNJ, uh, and even for the 12 year olds uh, to 17 years. They have also been opened up for them, so they must also get their second jab. So, we want to also mobilize all our people to really come out the numbers and take the uh, vaccination because uh, vaccination for now is, is the only remedy for us uh, to counter the uh, deadly virus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, that was the MEC of Yalti in the Northern Cape, Mr. Maru Ping Lekwene, saying that 11 babies uh, being born here in the Northern Cape and they are, they are hopeful that more babies will be 
born um, in the province because babies are bringing a bundle of joy. Mm -hmm. And we know that the COVID-19 pandemic, as he mentioned, put um, all of us through a lot. We lost loved ones. Um, also saying that the vaccination for the second jab of J&J, um, they officially opened it and encouraging also people to take uh, their jab, making use of that opportunity and also his message, his Christmas message for people to stay safe and avoid large crowds. But also um, he's saying that people should enjoy this um, Christmas and he's wishing them a Merry Christmas. But with that said, um, from us here in the Northern Cape, I'm going to link to my colleague in the Eastern Cape, Fundiswa. Fundiswa? Thank you very much. A very good morning. We are at the Nelson Mandela Academic Hospital's Labour Ward here in Mutata in the Eastern Cape, where the health MEC, Ms. Norma Kostazanameth, uh, is uh, giving gifts uh, to the new mothers and uh, some babies in the pediatric ward or children in the pediatric ward of this hospital. Here is a, a very uh, busy day at the labor ward. We hear that uh, two babies were born uh, this day, uh, uh, whilst two other moms are waiting for a cesarean uh, section. Uh, with me right now is uh, Ms. Numa Kosazanameth, who will be joining me. Uh, Mrs. Smith, you are, go you are giving these children these beautiful gifts. Tell us the significance of today. Ish, so excited. Uh, we welcome uh, these bundles of joy that we've received as a province. In total, we've got 15, 52 delivered so far. Uh, we're expecting two soon from here, Nelson Mandela Academic Hospital. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are coming here to celebrate the life and say congratulations to the mother, congratulations to the nation, and also want to appreciate the work that is done by our healthcare workers, of course, we know it's during the difficult times. So we are here very excited coming to say you are welcome to this land, citizens of our country, both young and the younger ones that are toddlers. We are not just giving gift to those who are born today. You are saying if you come to celebrate this life of these who are born today, let's also extend a hand, give some toys to the mothers of the newborns and those that who are in the pediatric ward, the, the toddlers. Tell us about these toys. Yes, uh, we are here as a Department of Health. We are coming to offer uh, 25 uh, toys for the newborns, and we are offering 31 toys for those who are toddlers in the pediatric ward. Just to say to them, welcome, we appreciate you, we love you. As this department, we are dealing with bringing life to this earth, and at the same time, you know we are the last ones to uh, bid farewell to our citizens. So even though we are emotional, because uh, we've got mixed feelings, we are doing this during COVID, we are losing a lot of our citizens and our healthcare workers are being infected by this COVID-19, particularly the Omicron. And also we hear that amongst uh, all, all, all the two, who delivered today. The mothers uh, tested positive. They are still awaiting results for the newborns. So we are saying, even if it's like that, we must celebrate. We must be joyous when we are getting new life. Hence, we are here today to just give these toys for them, just to put a smile in the mothers who we know everybody is frustrated. Be it is the health worker, the citizens, because we are worried about both the COVID-19 issues of GBVF, as we all know. Now there's issue of initiates who are dying in the initiation schools. There's disasters that are happening. But we said, I miss that. Let's come and celebrate life and say welcome. Bono kissims and all kissims. Okay, as a, as a mother yourself, what can you say to the new moms? Yeah, I'm happy for them. I'm an old lady now. Uh, I'm no more used uh, in raising babies, but because I've got grand uh, children and great grandson now, it's quite a joy uh, to receive a newborn. So we are happy for the mothers and the fathers, wherever they are. But we hear that uh, these two that deliver today are single. Uh, are, are they delivering single teen? That is one one per, 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 per parent. It's not very hectic to grow a, a child, in particular if it's just one child. Uh, so we are saying congratulations to them. They must look after their kids. We love them. As the government will be there, the Department of Health always they must make sure that they stick uh, to the routine that they will be given to look after their kids, taking them for immunizations and all that to the clinics. But we are here for them. If anything uh, needs us to intervene health-wise, we'll be here for them.
um, and lastly, MEC, your message to the whole uh, uh, province of the Eastern Cape at this time of festive season, and uh, considering that uh, we are faced with a, a very uh, spreading uh, Omicron. Okay. We are here at the department. We are celebrating in style the Christmas. We are very excited, but we want to send a message to all the citizens of the Eastern Cape and South Africa that they must be very vigilant as they vibe. They must also make sure that they vet in order for them to be safe because vaccination is still proven even now. That is the best thing that you can do to avoid serious illnesses and being hospitalized, even death, because we are still living within this COVID. So, Love your people, uh, you must relax, you must celebrate when you find time to celebrate, but don't forget that you are still living with COVID. Thank you very much. MEC for the Department of Health, Mrs. Noma Kosaza Named, coming here at the Nelson Mandela Academic Hospital uh, Labor Ward to give uh, toys to the newborns as well as the uh, other children at the pediatric ward of this hospital. She's also sending a very uh, strong message to the people of the Eastern Cape that they should uh, remain vigilant as we are still facing uh, COVID-19. Uh, back to you in studio. Well, 52 Christmas babies born already. Uh, what a blessing. Elon Musk says we keep complaining about there have been too many people in the world. He says there aren't enough customers. So that's Fundi Somkhekute there with that uh, uh, happy Christmas babies story.